this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a YouTube background some, uh, that looks about like this. Um, so a lot of people have requested a YouTube tutorial, a YouTube layout tutorial, so that's why I'm making one. Now, um, this is in Photoshop, and um, you don't have to follow this tutorial exactly, but you can use this to get a few good ideas on how to make and plan a YouTube background. So um, you will need to open up um, a template that I have. So go ahead and download the templates, which I'll leave a link in the description to the template that you need. And it should look something like this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete the credit layer just because you don't really need that. Uh, then make a new layer above your background layer. And you can create a new layer just by pressing this uh, little page icon in your layers dialog and make sure your foreground and background color are on black and white and then go to filter render clouds and something like this should pop up on your uh, on that new layer then go to filter pixelate mosaic uh, for cell size I'm put in around 100 that's fine uh, you can always adjust this however you'd like then um, in your layers window over here um, just choose this the change the layer mode to overlay and you can do that by just using the drop down menu in your layers dialog or window then go to the more boxes layer and um, I'm just going to apply a layer style so just double click on the layer and so under blending options for general blending make sure your blend mode is on overlay and then uh, make sure you have a drop shadow so just check the little box next to that and uh, you can pause the video and put in these settings right now. Uh, blend mode, multiply, opacity 70, angle 140, um, distance 0, spread 15, size 8. Um, and then make sure you check bevel and emboss. Um, style, inner bevel, technique, smooth, depth 100, direction up, size 0, soften 0, uh, angle 140, altitude 48 um, I'm pretty sure like uh, and then for the highlight mode make sure it's on screen opacity 100 shadow mo mode multiply opacity 100 um, and then you can choose to do a co color overlay and just set the blend mode to soft light the color I'm using is the HTML notation is 1f 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 and just lower the opacity to around 60. And then check gradient overlay and just have it the blend mode on soft light and the um, default black to white gradient. And scale 97, or you can always adjust that. And then just select OK. Um, and now go to your shape 4 layer. And we're going to apply the same layer style, except this time uh, set the overall uh, on your general blending change the blend mode to lighten um, and now to make this a little easier so you don't have to go in there and uh, set all the um, and actually go in and set the drop shadow you can just press new style in the uh, layer styles box then just click OK and that will create a new layer style and now in your layer styles box up here you can just click that button and it should apply the layer style to whatever layer you're on. And that just makes it much easier. So now you pretty much, you're almost done. Um, except as you can tell for the shape 7 layer, um, the box, we need to fade out that box part at the end. So double click on this layer again to open up your layer style and under advanced blending and uh, make sure you check layer mask hides effects and then select OK. Now just get to uh, give this layer a layer mask just press the um, icon in the bottom of your layers dialog or window that says add layer mask when you scroll over it and it's like a rectangle with a hole or a circle um, and then get your gradient tool and just select the foreground to transparent gradient make sure your uh, foreground color is on black and now just stroke up 
Just stroke from the bottom up until it kind of fades out smoothly. And now we're just going to add some text effects and we're almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And get your text tool, which is the giant T in your toolbox. The font I'm using is Shark Heavy ABC. I got it off the font.com. Uh, if I can find it, I'll leave a link in the description. So just type in whatever you want. And I'm going to be placing this part um, sideways along here. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And now just grab your Move tool and just kind of move it over a little. About like that. Um, I'm going to create another layer style, so go ahead and double click on that layer again. Make sure the general blending mode is on overlay. Um, and give it a drop shadow. Um, it's just the default drop shadow. Make sure your text color, the original text color you use, is black. Now give it a stroke. Um, the size is on three, position outside, blend mode, soft light, and color, uh, white. And you can just use that layer style to, um, you can just apply that layer style to the rest of the text that you're going to put on your layout. Um, and then the last thing we need to do is just zoom back out, um, is fade out the bottom of this, um, of your layout. So make sure that the color you're using is um, one of the colors that you can choose for your background color on YouTube um, to make sure that this works. So if you're not sure if your color is going to work, just use um, black or white as your color that you're fading out to, So because uh, those will always work. But I know the blues that I'm using will work for, um, will work as the background color on YouTube. So go ahead and choose whatever color you're using. I'm using this blue color. Um, grab your gradient tool and make sure the gradient is on foreground to transparent. And start from the bottom and just stroke up until you can see that it's faded out. Now what you have to do is save it so that um, the quality, that it's going to retain the quality, but it will also be a small enough file size to uh, upload to YouTube. So go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Um, now, you can just set the quality over here, and I think 85 is going to work for me, and as you can tell, the quality is still very good, um, and you can, like, the way you can know that the file size will be small enough for YouTube is right down here in this corner. It tells you what the file size will be, and just make sure that it's um, under, I forgot what the how big the file can be, but on YouTube it tells you it's around 250 or something like that. And then you can just go ahead and save that. So that's my YouTube background, and I apologize for, um, I apologize if this tutorial isn't up to the usual standard.